In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to shorten a video clip to match a shorter audio clip. Sometimes you have audio that's just about the right length of your project, but too much video. We've shown you in another tutorial how you can use Magic Cut to achieve that objective and the strengths and weaknesses of that approach. Here we're going to make an adjustment by speeding up the video to match the audio, which will actually make the video shorter in length. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to pause the playing of this clip, and if I hover over it, I notice that the video is 4 minutes, 10 seconds, and 8 frames. Much too long for my project. But if I hover over my audio file, I discover that my music file is 1 minute, 33 seconds, and 22 frames. Let's assume that that's about the right length for my particular project. So I've taken that file and I've placed it on track number two. I could place it on any audio track or I could place it down on the music track at the bottom. So if I try to play that, I have a nice beat. But I find that the audio is much faster and much more energetic than the video because it's too long and too slow. I'm going to click on the video track and then click on the Tools button above my timelines. Click on the drop down arrow and choose Power Tools and then go to Video Speed. That opens a panel on the left where I see all my power tools and I have my video speed and I've already used it once so it popped open my video speed designer window. Now here it has the original duration of the video and it wants a new duration over here. Easiest way to do that is to jot down the video length when you hover over the audio track. I remembered mine. Mine is one minute. I'll type one in the minute section. 33 seconds and then 22 frames. And it automatically calculates the speed that it will have to increase the video. Right now it's about two and a half times faster than the original. And I can watch what happens. But notice if I use this technique, I cannot hear my audio. So I'm going to simply click on OK. And it will automatically adjust the length of the video by speeding it up. I'm going to start about halfway through and watch what happens as we've speeded up our video to match the audio. Now it looks really good, but there's one problem. If you show this to a farmer, the farmer will see the machinery running in the field at this speed and they'll laugh at you. They won't take you seriously unless they think you're trying to pull their leg because no harvest machinery runs that fast. So you've got a problem with credibility if you use this and you magnify it that much. Let me give you another option. I'm going to go back into my speed control and I'll click the reset button. And you noticed before probably that we have some issues with the video as it is already. So I've reset it to 4 minutes 10 seconds and 8 frames. I'll click on OK. There we go. Now we're after the adjustment of the drone apparently. And now I'm going to click and I'm going to split the video here. And I'll cut out the first half completely and fill the gap. And now we see that the video is just slightly longer than the audio. Let's use the same technique now that we've been pretty aggressive at reducing the length of the video by normal editing. I'll click on this again, choose Tools, go back to my Power Tools and go on the video speed. We'll highlight that. And the original video is 149.27. I want it to be 133.22. 
Now I'm multiplying it by 1.17 and we'll click on OK. And now if I was to show this to someone in the farming community at this place, let's see what it looks like. A little better. Now again, it, it, it's a bit of a miscue to have music quite this fast on this shot because it seems like there's nothing moving. Uh, to the beat of the music, so you might want to change your music. But if you're stuck with something like this, if that's what your your client wants, uh, you'll have to go for it. And then I also added a couple of title tracks in it to promote a certain kind of product that a farmer might want. And we'll go back to the beginning here and try again. And it's a little better. So you can make the adjustments. If you just rely on them without thinking about the consequences, uh, you won't get the kind of result that you or your audience will really appreciate. But it's a nice tool if you want to adjust a longer video to a shorter audio clip.